welcome back. Uh, we are here again with uh, uh, Mr. Enrique Manrique, the Director of Outpatient Services of SCAN. And uh, many of you may have somebody that you love who has a drug or an alcohol problem and they don't want to admit it or they do not want to come to treatment and, and you're wondering what are the best ways to, to help him or her. So, uh, Enrique, so many people that are watching us, they wish that their loved one stopped using drugs or alcohol, and, but they, they are refusing to come. What would you tell those people? No, it's really difficult when a spouse or a family member have uh, someone that uses drugs. It's really difficult for them to cope with that. Uh, so one of the things that we want is for family to do a lot of self-care, for the, the individual to do uh, self-care, and understand that their spouses or family members' addiction is not their fault. So that's one of the very first things that we want to put across. So I'm imagining that uh, when family members um, see their loved one use maybe one of the reactions is to think that maybe they caused it mm -hmm. or they created it definitely you know we, we want to make sure that they understand that this is not their fault uh one of the other things that we want is people can't be forced into treatment so this doesn't this doesn't uh, mean that we should uh, we approve their behavior is that you should leave that struggle for change to them and you focus more on on self-care, on taking care of yourself. Uh, those are some of the things that uh, we can start doing. So people, I guess, when they have a loved one who uses drugs or alcohol, they may be under a lot of stress, they may be thinking about it all the time, they may be worrying about a lot Blaming of things themselves. that may happening. They may be thinking about things that happened in the past, and you say that this may cause a lot of wear and tear mm -hmm. in them, and you are suggesting that they uh, find, you know, find ways to take care of themselves first. Definitely. Again, you can't force someone into treatment. So, uh, the next thing is allow them to allow them to be with that struggle while you focus on self care. Mm -hmm. um, what other things can they do? Well, another thing they can do is participate in um, in counseling. One of the things that uh, they can learn is how to stop reinforcing behavior of somebody's drug use or learn ways on how to reduce uh, certain behaviors uh, mm -hmm. to which, that abstain, uh, that help a person abstain from drug use. Now these skills can be learned through a counselor or they can go to community support groups where uh, they can learn these skills and these, these types of uh, groups include Al-Anon and Naranon. I see. So there are groups in the community where they can identify with other relatives who also have loved ones to use and they can find support. And I guess you're saying this is part of how they can take care of themselves. Yes, these are just some of the steps that can So when, when, when they may hear that, and as you suggest that they may go to counseling and they may seek support, they may be thinking, but I'm not the one with the problem. The one with the problem is my, my spouse or my loved one. Why should I call? Yeah, no, no, that's a very normal reaction from a lot of people thinking hey this is not my problem this is them but when you start thinking about it you know the individual goes through these emotions through these uh, uh, wear and tear you know this may happen or this is going on what can I do you know I really want the person to go into treatment when we go into that area it becomes really difficult so again one of the things we suggest is self-care so self-care definitely, definitely is the most important thing and they may be for hard for some people because they're really focused on their loved one. You're saying, well, the attention maybe should be on taking care of themselves. But you also mentioned that there may be some things that they can do to decrease the reinforcement of their loved one's uh, alcohol and drug use. Yes, definitely. There are things that a person can do to help reduce the substance use. And these skills can be learned either by going to a counselor or going to a support group in the community. Okay. So then, um, so... So there's some things that they can do as they interact with their loved one 
in order, you know, that they will not be reinforcing the use. Correct. And that might in turn may help the person who's using um, maybe seek treatment in the future. And, mm -hmm. and I guess the idea of when we talk about people taking care of themselves, we don't mean that they stop wanting for the loved one to get in, to go to treatment. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. That, yeah, that may still be, they may still be. Yeah, the, the desire goal. is still there and the goal is still there. But right, but focusing more on themselves at the moment. So focusing on themselves, uh, finding ways that they can not reinforce the, the loved ones' use, and then uh, keeping the door open for the person to go to treatment when the person is ready to go to treatment. To make that change. Be, there can be some things. Okay. But thank you so much.